Recently, a team of astronomers led by Stephen Finkelstein discovered a galaxy which broke the record for distance. According to the October 24th edition of Nature magazine, its starlight is redshifted at 7.51. The previous record is a redshift of 7.21. The higher numbers designate further shifting of light spectra toward the red, an effect thought by many to be caused by an expanding universe. Interestingly, claims like they were viewing this galaxy at an epoch only 700 million years after the Big Bang and that the galaxy's light reaches us with a time delay because light emitted by stars in far-off galaxies travels at a finite velocity were being made. Besides the fact that scientists have not and probably will not be able to ever measure the one-way speed of light, these are simply assumptions. As ICR science writer Brian Thomas puts it, the leap from a distant light measurement to millions of years and a Big Bang history came tightly packaged with scientific sounding but unsupported statements that attempt to explain this galaxy's secrets. This is an extremely dangerous practice and has the ability to actually cripple scientific advancement. It is an important practice to separate the facts from the assumptions no matter what your preconceptions about the universe are. To one who holds the preconception that the cause of the universe was the Big Bang, this galaxy, designated Z8 GND 5296, will cause some confusion. For one thing, it contains heavier elements when really, according to Big Bang cosmologies, it should only contain lighter elements such as hydrogen, helium, and traces of lithium. Secondly, according to the Big Bang theory, a very distant galaxy such as this is supposed to be younger and should not have already formed so many stars, nor should these stars have clumped together as they have seen in this galaxy. It is a very common problem in Big Bang cosmology where distant galaxies appear just as mature as those near to Earth, as though there was no relative time difference between the galaxy's formation. Those constrained to Big Bang cosmology are forced to make the conclusion that this galaxy is forming stars at a very high rate. However, this is not a scientific observation, as many astronomers would have you believe. It is simply an assumption which is based on the best-fitting stellar population models. However, star formation has a lot of problems. In fact, no one has ever even seen a star form. With these observations, we discover that this galaxy challenges the Big Bang cosmology in three ways. First, its mature appearance. Second, its elemental composition. And third, its dense population of bright stars. The only thing we can be certain of scientifically at this point is its incredible distance. While we must differentiate between fact and assumption, it is worthy of pointing out that those whose preconceptions of the creation of the universe lie in the biblical account will not struggle with this galaxy's properties. According to the Bible, the stars and galaxies are all the same age, and under the hands of a creator, diversity is expected. Furthermore, to the Bible believer, the great distances to these galaxies just illustrates even more God's great immensity and majesty.